Into my heart an air that kills from yon far country blows. What are those blue remembered hills? What spires, what farms are those? That is the land of lost content. I see it shining plain. The happy highways where I went and cannot come again. Remarkably, much of Hausmann's A Shropshire Lad was written before he even visited the county. Nonetheless, it romanticises a landscape of lost content, a vision of yesterday, which for many still strikes a sympathetic note. Today's Shropshire Hills, an area of outstanding natural beauty, still preserves the atmosphere of Hausmann's 19th century romance which anyone with perception can enjoy without resorting to that cliché of viewing it with rose-tinted glasses or half-closed eyes. Hausmann's evocative words also motivated other art forms, particularly music from composers that included George Butterworth, Rafe Williams and John Ireland. Butterworth's dreamy and pensive orchestral rhapsody, A Shropshire Lad, is especially poignant, even prophetic in its yearning, as he was killed in action shot through the head by a sniper's bullet during the First World War, his body hastily buried where it fell in the side of the trench. The Shropshire Hills are inclined to be a land of lost content by locality. Even when the towns of Church Stretton, Craven Arms, Bishop's Castle and even Ludlow are mentioned, its distinctive hills, enticing and clearly visible from far away, rise about a dozen miles south of Shrewsbury, well west of the Birmingham conurbation and nudging into the Welsh border.
The reflective introduction of Butterworth's A Shropshire Lad instantly strikes the right note in conjuring up Houseman's land of lost content. On the other hand, and in complete contrast, Vaughan Williams leaves the listener in no doubt that the trees in his orchestral song cycle on Wenlock Edge are really in trouble an interpretation of Houseman's poem that is quite different to Butterworth's idyllic opening. Houseman's wood on Wenlock Edge might be in trouble, but when the cloud is down on the Stiperstones, the devil, according to legend, will be in residence sitting on his chair. At 1,762 feet, it is one of the highest hills in Shropshire, and on a clear day the far-reaching vistas extend into the heartland of rural Wales and northwards to the massive bulk of Snowdon. Clunton and Clunbury, Clunganford and Clun, are the quietest places under the sun. In valleys of springs of rivers, by Oney and Team and Clun, the country for easy livers, the quietest under the sun. Ludlow, the River Team, and many other places also feature in a Shropshire lad. But it is a work of pure imagination, as it was written in London. Clun is depicted as the quietest under the sun, still true today and living up to its poetic dream. The occasional visitor to Church Stretton may not realise that the valley beneath their feet is on the line of a great fault, previously one of the most active parts of Earth's surface more than 560 million years ago. The whaleback shape of Long Mind looks totally different, almost foreign, from the more pointed top of Car Caradoc Hill across the valley. Whereas Long Mind came from Antarctica, Car Caradoc originated from the equator, its current shape developing around 60 million years ago. Long Mind is intersected by deep, narrow valleys that include Ashes Hollow, Townbrook and the popular Carding Mill, a landscape that also has been subject to change due to extreme snow and ice melt but only over the last 300,000 years. Minor earthquakes still affect the region today, the most recent in 1990 and 2002. Nevertheless, this inspirational landscape was largely unknown to Hausmann when he published his sequence of 63 poems, A Shropshire Lad. They present a vision of a half-imagined pastoral Shropshire, a misty, nostalgic view of England. 
The verses also explore the transience of human love and loss of youth, and became popular during the First World War, reminding that generation of young men who fought in the war of home, an England to which many would never return. It might seem fanciful to us today, but it is believed that every Tommy had a copy of A Shropshire Lad in his knapsack. Into my heart an air that kills from yon far country blows. What are those blue remembered hills? What spires, what farms are those? That is the land of lost content. I see it shining plain. The happy highways where I went and cannot come again. <laughs> 